Hello beautiful people and welcome to the Kaz Plays channel. Today I'm going to be starting a brand new series with the game Cassette Beast that just came out on consoles the day that this video was recorded and uploaded. So Cassette Beast is essentially a Pokemon clone for lack of a better term and there are a lot of different elements that are from the Pokemon games that are in this game. You guys will learn more about this game as I go along with the playthrough. I have watched a few people play this game before, so I'm not completely blind to everything that goes on in this game. But I'm hoping this is going to be a fun series for you guys to watch, and it's definitely going to be a fun game for me to play. I'm already enjoying it a whole lot. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the sub button if you're new as well, and enjoy! I rides this night through the realm, into the wilderness of Whirl. Few were thereabouts that either God or other with good hard love. Sure. Alright, who are you? Your name is Cass. That's close, but it's Cass. Wait, I can't pick I'm him? Okay, he hims the closest we're gonna get to I'm him, I guess. God damn it. Unfortunate. And there's no black. Lovely. Okay, red's like my second favorite color, so we'll just pick red. Skin color. Well, that's as close to me as you're gonna get in slight skin. Um, balding? No. Bald. There we go. We bald out here. I got a bald head. And again, no black. Not that it matters because I have no hair, anyways, but hey, you know what? It's group. Hair accessory color. Doesn't really matter because I have no hair. Um. That face paint, nah. Glasses. Um. Brown, there we go. Face accessory. Red. All right. Uh, it looks about good. Let's get it. There's a bald-headed man just floating through time and space and whatnot. Let's go. Cooking in the cauldron. Giving Grampus a candy cane. Giving Hopskin its jacket back. Saying goodbye to Avervor. Knighting Palangolin. Alrighty. Right, jump with a dash would be. Okay. What is this? Ooh, we got wood. Let's go. Wonder if I can change my attire at all, because I feel like I'm just wearing like a freaking one of the little gowns you wear in the hospital or whatever, so. I don't have a key, so I can't get in. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Alright, where do I go? I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. go up here. Okay, back on the beach we go, I guess. Bro, I don't know where I'm going. I'm confused. I'm confuzzled. I like how open world this game is, though. Oh, crap, baskets. Hey. Hey, stranger. Don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers, or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. Ooh, we got a cassette player and some headphones. Let's go. It's time. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? Um, spooky. I feel like spooky is more of my aesthetic. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I can see that. In that case, take this. Oh, we got a banshee. 
The eerie moans of the wild band sheep at night have led many to believe that they are restless undead spirits, but this is untrue. They're very much alive, they just like to have a bit of a whine. Who doesn't? Raises monsters taped with five stars will unlock more information. I've been known. I bet. Alright, now just pop that into your cassette player. Put on the headphones and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Your turn, don't be shy. Just breathe. You'll adjust in just a moment. Right. Right. Let's give him hell. Sounds good to me. Alright, so. Another thing we can really do is smack. Oh, so you gotta spit, dodge, and call for help. Eh. Spit. We get disrespectful with it. Ooh! Damn. Just bing bong you right away. Let's go. We got battering ram. And plastic. Okay. Julio. You handled yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's your name? I'm Kaylee. I'm Kaylee. Nice to meet you. Nice to make your acquaintance, Kaz. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. Alright, so it's not a nightgown, it's pajamas. Yeah, I need some threads, okay? Boy, needs some threads. What do you think? Pretty quaint here. Oh, uh, pretty quaint, right? What is this place? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. Already got a home. This ain't my house. This ain't my crib. Oh. Uh, All uh, right. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. Oh no. We all are. I don't feel so great. I <laughs> just knocked out. Wonderful. Ah, wonderful. You're awake. Kaylee gave me a quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. <sighs> you had me scared for a moment, Kaz. I don't think any it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbor Town happened to have a spare home available for you, so this is your new place now. Where on earth is this place? On Earth? On Earth? Kaylee, you haven't told him? Sorry. Sorry, I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New World. It's not strictly on Earth. At least that's what we think. Is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. Well, that's quite the bombshell. I'm afraid not, Cass. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their world for a century and none have succeeded. Good lord have mercy, a century. <laughs> it's a long time. <laughs> but, but... You'll be okay. There's a community in Harbor Town. We help each other out. It's not a bad life. And it's safe. Well, apart from the monster. Well, that's not safe then, hello? Like the one we fought this yeah. before. Yeah, I'm actually going on a patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. The one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. Uh. We also fetched some clothes for you, though, though they might be a bit out of fashion for your era, but it's all we have. My era? Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. I'm info dumping. I'll catch you soon, right? We can talk more then if you'd like. Mm. My clinic is nearby. If you need to check up, feel free to visit. This mu all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. Well, that's crazy, so we're in like a brand new world. And we don't even know where we're at, pretty much. Okay, we definitely changing up the threats a little bit, though. I'm about to wear a dress. We out here, bro. It's 2023. We live. Uh, apron, vest, jacket. Browsers. 
I just wish they had more of a color selection, to be honest, but... Eh, we'll go with this for now. So, letterbox. How strange that it's indoors when nobody can deliver letters. Oh, so we can play online. Okay. Well, I guess we're going out on a patrol and whatnot. There she is. Hey. Hey again, Kaz. Are you feeling a little bit better? You know, you held your own last time we fought together. So, well, I've been given an errand and I need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Errand? I'll explain in just a moment. Do you see that path over there? Well. There was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're going to check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. Here, take the key to the gate. That. Oh, there we go. Gate is open. And here we go. Uh... Right, uh, there's some basics I gotta show you first. Hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. I guess so. <laughs> You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. Except, you know, the bike transformed into a moody, floating sheep. <laughs> and also, you're the bike. Well, that's mm. fun. You see that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel. And it's gonna get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So you're gonna get closer, of course. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. Let's go. Pay attention to these orange squares, they're your action points, or AP for short. Most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you won't be able to use it this turn. Each party member gains 2 AP each turn, and next year one if they land a type advantage attack. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using a weak or low AP. Okay, that. Well, the only thing we can use right now is smack, and that doesn't take any, it looks like. There you go. And then spit doesn't take any either. Oh, you smacking me. Okay. Ow. You've taken a bit of a beating, but your monster can, form can take it. The green bar represents your monster's form's health. Uh, your monster form's health. And the red is yours. If a form loses all of its health in a fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. This really is like Pokemon with like more layers. If both of us lose all of our health, then we'll have to retreat back to the Harbor Town. Got that? Right. Roger that. Right, let's crack on. Bink. Oh, she nasty. She's spitting on it, bro. Right, let's see what this battering ram does. We'll just have her. Boom. Let's go. Alright, nice. We got Sonic Boom for her thing. Sirenade. Yeah! Nice work. Hmm, that elevator should be functioning. There will be a switch around here to turn it back on. There we go. Hey! Great, let's head on up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead for any more fights, but don't worry. I'll be sticking with you from here on out. Kaylee is now your partner. Alright, sir uh Sirenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their sing is too loud for them. <laughs> Damn. I feel that. Hi, right, this is where we live and follow Kaylee's directions, bet. Hey, I can't fly, what the hell? I wanna fly. Hey. You need to break, Kaz. We can rest here if you'd like. These bonfire pits mark your areas, mark areas you're safe to set up camps. Gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. 
that. I need a little bit of healing. Let's camp here. Burn a little wood. <laughs> Kaylee tells you about her various ventures helping out the people of Harbor Town. Story time. Let's go. And now it's night time. All right. Back at it we go. All right. There'll be more monsters about. I've just missed. I haven't seen you around. Let me guess. You watched up pretty recently, didn't you? Oh, is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. Oh, we got rewinds. Okay. I guess those are like potions, more or less. Hmm. There. Do you see that monster? There must be a way to get it to come over here. Oh, it's a moth. Okay. Okay. Okay, take these. Ooh, basic tapes. So I guess these are Pokeballs. Okay. Or like this game's version of Pokeballs. Records monster forms with a normal efficiency rate. Nice. There's something about mo the monsters on New World. Well. When weakened, their essence can be well recorded in cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does. And that's good enough for us. Right, so, yeah, they're essentially Pokeballs. Cool. Okay, I can only record. Dominoff. Okay. We're gonna... No, I guess that leaves me vulnerable, and I have a 28% chance of recording it. There we go. Oh, it's 100%. Huh? Sprint. Oh, damn, it's... Definitely speed uh, sped up more or less. Uh, so we got Domino. Domino see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing they can, that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights such as lamps. Cool. Whether a recording succeeds or not is down to chance. However, several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt with, uh, with uh, little words. How much damage you dealt it while recording, how much damage the person recording it took. Okay. Buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal with the target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as the monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. Oh, we can name them, too. Okay, cool. The moves that you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. You can give new ma a new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in here. Okay. That's dope, actually. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers may be contained in a few ways by filling tapes, experience point bars, from chests or caches you find from certain merchants and harbor town. So stickers are more like more or less like TMs. Alright. We got you locked in. I tried switching to the tape you just recorded. Okay. This is really like Pokemon, because you get six tapes. Needles, okay. This up. That's how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee. You won't be able to record it. You wouldn't be so far. Now let's finish this bug off. Ooh. That's a little bit of damage. Alright, we'll do one more Sonic boom. Very nice. Let's go. Ooh, wow, you're floating. What's happening? Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to keep their shapes. Don't panic. Oh, I got wings now. Let's go. 
You can now hold A to glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. That's dope. Sorry. Sorry, I should have probably warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this glide to get across that gap right there. Okay, let's get it. Company Kaylee to the broken pathway, but Ooh, look at those snacks. Wait, how do I do that again? Crap baskets. Ah, there we go. I had to hold it. Cool. There we go. Crab and Squirry. I'm not gonna call for help yet. Pink. Oh, you sharpen it up. I'm scared now. I kinda wanna get that traffic crab she was talking about though. Did big damage. Ate that up. Alright, let's record. Um, and then. Alright, we got a 52% chance. One up to 75. Please don't hit me. Ah, oh, goddammit. Let's go, we got the crab. All right. The traffic crab's cone isn't a, actually a part of his body. It's merely a traffic cone that is washed up on the shores of New World and been occupied by the creature. It is said that if, that in the past, they would instead find other objects to live inside. So it's basically like a hermit crab, more than like an actual crab crab. All right, so, it's a classic type. Right, let's finish this bitch off. But yeah, you guys watching this video, if you guys want to name some of these creatures, or you guys want to claim some of these creatures, feel free to do so in the comment section below. Because apparently you can rename them. Alright, now I gotta figure out how to, like, get places. this thing. There we go. Ooh, nice. Uh-oh. Huh? What's going on? If this is because of monster activity, we better stay short. Let's go. Uh-oh. Okay, you felt that one, right? I sure did. Oh, damn. Oh, we got a what? subway. What is that? What Was this always there? Isn't this part of Harbor Town? I've never seen anything like this before. Has this always been buried here? Well, that's a great question. Huh? It's a subway. Or a train. Well, same thing. Is this a train station? If. It should be okay to take a look around, right? I guess so. If you say so, this is like your area of expertise, not mine. Some eerie ass music, too. This place smells like burning metal. I can't explain it. Oof. Ooh, we got train tracks. 
Kaz, can you feel something in the air? I can feel it. Come. Ah, let me show. <laughs> let me show out. Uh. -oh. Hello? It's a hand with like some. I'm not gonna say it because I ain't trying to get demonetized, but you know what I'm thinking. Joe got lips and everything and a broken ass face. Is that you, Mordred? Come closer, child, so that I may see you one last time. This is. This is. The long conflict is drawn to an end. I am afraid he has defeated me truly this time. Kaz, I think this is an archangel. It don't look like Garrus Vicarian to me. We need to leave. Now. This isn't like other monsters. We are not safe here. Who are you? No. 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 You are not my kin. You come for me once again, sword in hand. Oh, no. And now. I don't know why I made it sound like freaking Bruce from uh, Family Guy, but oh well. The music in this game is absolute fire, by the way. Especially this song. That Jones level 100, y'all not- Oh, nah. That's no bueno. Now right, we're gonna do what we can. Bink! That did nothing. Also did nothing. Discordant Thrash. Oh no. Ah, you missed. Hit you with that battering ram. And Sonic Boom! Bink. Another Discordant Thrash. Oh! Unlike other monsters that spend AP to use moves, Archangels accumulate all their AP until it reaches 10. Once an Archangel reaches 10 AP, it unleashes all that power at once in its unique angelic attack. To survive, use your monsters strategically to either set up a solid defense in preparation, or defeat the Archangel before it gets enough AP. I think I'd rather do the former, because the former seems more effective. Dodge. Alright. Battering Ram. Oh, you missed again. I am not gonna die here. Not like this. You hear me, Kaz? This isn't the end for us. It can't be. I refuse. I refuse. We're gonna fight this thing and we're gonna do it together. Kaz and Kaylee's hearts act as one. Benade? We just hit the fusion dance out here. Let's get it. When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse to become a singular and more powerful beast. The closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you are as a fusion. Keep an eye on your fusion meter, though. You can only fuse when it, this is full. Okay. As a fusion, you gain 4 AP each turn instead of 2, allowing you to make use of your more powerful moves sooner. You also have an access to all the moves of both tapes combined, and your stats are added together. Let's get it. Nah, this song is absolute fire, though. Hit you with that sonic boom! Ah, uh, Toro. We're gonna call for help. Oh my god. Code of down. Yikes. Sonic Boom! Ah, Toro, bitch. God, uh, let's go! The battle is won. We're at level 9 now, baby! Let's go! Alright, so... Banshee learned Bite, Sir uh, Sirenade learned Provoke, we got some items too, very nice. And we defuse. Uh... How did we... I don't know. Your guess is better than mine. Stamina increased by 20%, you can now glide for 3 seconds. Let's go. Enough! Enough! My time is drawing to an end. 
Why have you come to this wretched place? I want to go home. I see. There is a way. There are none who know the path but I. I require a vessel and you require a guide. Rebuild my strength and in turn, I shall lead you from this land. Vessel. Very well. Very well. Hear my song. Aw, oh, just knocked out, oh no. If you wish to leave this land, then hear, heed the words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. The rest of the song is still quiet to make out. Oh, she's spitting hard at me now. Kaz, are you okay? What happened? You blanked out for a second there. We should get out of here. That was interesting. Hmm. What happened at that train station? I guess we should probably talk about it. Let's talk about a few... Oh, no, we gotta talk about the Archangel first. Archangels. Archangels. Supposedly, when the first unlucky sods washed up on the shores of New World, they thought the monsters here were angels. And some of them wrote of other entities greater than the others. Creatures that look and feel wrong. Logically, they're call, they, uh, they call these other creatures archangels, the highest ranking among the order of angels. Of course, when people learned they could fight and defeat the regular monsters, they lost their angelic alert. Well, They've had a bunch of names over the years. Angels, demons, devils, ghouls. We just call them monsters now. That's a good catch-all term. Uh, these other creatures, though, like the one we th fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are. No one has really seen one for a long time. Looking at that thing we fought, it's hard to explain. I felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly. Or I wasn't viewing it correctly. Like trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm making some assumptions there. We're all from different worlds, after all. <laughs> you might not what, know what movies are. Hello? What are movies? Just kidding. <sighs> Phew. Okay. Grand. I've been in New World for three years, and I still, I've still not completely learned to adjust my cultural references when I talk to new folks. Let's talk about us fusing. <laughs> oh yeah, that fusion is a rare phenomenon known by the Rangers. There are fused monsters in the wild, and supposedly the leader of the Rangers can do it too. In the right circumstances, two people in monster form are able to unite and perform one powerful being. I guess the right circumstances include nearly being killed by an archangel. It felt strange in that moment. I was sharing a body with you, and the thing we became was both us and not us at the same time. Uh, Never fused with anyone before. I certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. What you trying to say? It just kind of happened in the heat of the moment, right? Sorry. Sorry. Talking about it is a little awkward. We wouldn't have survived without it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Now that we've done it, I have this weird feeling inside of me, like a door has been opened that I didn't even know was there before. I feel like I'd be able to fuse with you again if we ever needed to. Mm. We are here bonding over fusing. I like it. So let me get this straight. That Archangel, Morgante, her memory is inside you now, and she knows a way to leave New World. If there is even a chance that this could lead a way off, lead to a way off the island and return people to their homes and their families, we owe it to everyone on New World to find out. You and I. You and I. What do you say? Are we in this together? I mean, we don't have any other option. Fusion is now available in regular battles when partnered with Kaylee. Let's get it. Fusions you form with Kaylee now have plus five percent added strength. Let's go. Building relationships with your friends is really important. The strength of your relationship directly affects how strong you are when fused together. You can get closer to someone by completing their quests and by battling alongside them. When the time is right, you can take a break at the campfire or in the cafe to level up your relationship. If an archangel gave you that vision, then you need to find another one. You need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do. This is the world we live in. Uh, locate Ar Archangels to complete Morgante's song, then follow the clues it contains to find your way home. The Rangers have a training program that will help you become strong enough. Let's begin by getting you a meeting with the Ranger leader. 
So we have the outposts in the park right about now. Nice. So, can I say, yep. I think that's a good place to stop this episode. I'm enjoying this game so far. Like, I haven't really decided whether or not I feel like it's better than Scarlet and Violet, but I would say for like a Pokemon clone, this game is definitely really good. It has like even a fusion element to it as well, so they definitely went full Monty with this one. But yeah, if you guys want to get this game, it's on Xbox Game Pass. I think it's on like the regular Game Pass on PC as well, and it just came out on the Switch. I don't know if it's on PS5. Don't quote me on that, but I know it's on three. Uh, I know it's on the oh, Alms at 360. <laughs> I know it's on the Series S and X. I know it's on PC, and I know it's on Switch. So definitely go check it out if you guys enjoy Pokemon type games. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys soon.